Today I'm going to show you a Linux distro made by Linux FX called Windows FX. That is a distro made to look like Windows 10. The graphic interface is almost identical. For the normal user you almost cannot distinguish. So while we are installing it, subscribe to the channel not to miss more videos about Linux distros, hit the like button on this video and leave a comment. Now we are on the operating system Windows FX. The ambient is like Windows, the icons, the logo of Windows, the taskbar, the icons on the bottom, everything looks like Windows 10, but it's not. It's Linux. It's completely Linux. This is the computer icon and we can see like the Explorer it's similar to Windows 10 but it's based on Cinnamon. This is how Linux shows the folders that the icons of the folders looks like Windows but it's Linux. The disposition of the icons on the left we can see that have the same name of Windows, the same structure. So this is easy for a Windows 10 user to navigate on this interface. Let's close this window and look for other things. So the network, similar to Windows also. Let's see more. Let's open the taskbar, the icon, it's completely Windows, but says menu. And the menu of the taskbar is based on Cinnamon. It's not nothing like Windows. We have several programs in several categories. Let's see the software, explorer, browser. Okay, the software. When we open the software, we don't have the Windows Store. We have the interface to install Linux applications. That's more. Let's see more. I've seen this. The icons are completely equal to Windows 10. Exactly the same picture with the same names. Because this is so similar to Windows, it will be easier for a user to move to Linux. So this is a, an interesting distro. What can you see more? Like the browser. Let's open Chrome. And the Chrome is not affected by the Linux ambient because it's a browser, it's made by Google, and Google makes the interface. Let's open the YouTube page and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And we can see that this is, you can navigate normally like you navigate in, on Windows because the browser it's the same. It's not affected by the ambient of this operating system. What can we see more? The icons on the right are on the position of Windows but are different, are Linux based on other interfaces. But all the icons that we find on Windows we can find in this distro. The calendar and hour is it's very different. We can see more. Let's check the applications. So Preferences and settings. This menu is very similar to the new version of Windows with the icons, with the names, with the disposition. Very, very similar. We have system, we have network, applications, and other things. Let's open system. What can we find on system? The structure is very similar with the tabs on the left, with the information on the right. And the type of information is also very similar 
to what we find on Windows. So it's easier for the user to find the information, the menus, the options, if he's a Windows 10 user. With this distro, he can find the configurations and the options. So let's check some other options, like devices. And here we can add and remove devices, also with the buttons and the symbols very similar. When we try to open some options, the submenus are very different from Windows, but where you can find the menus and the options is similar. Now let's check personalization. Even the wallpaper is the same on Windows. The options are the same for the colors, for the themes. Again, the submenu is completely different from Windows, is Linux based, Cinnamon in this case. But can you see more? We have accounts. Accounts is a bit different, but not much different. And now let's check updates and security. It asks for the password. And again, the interface is very similar. But when we try to search for the updates, shouldn't be should be very very different because it have to search for the updates in the in the Linux repositories. So it's searching the repositories for Linux updates, as we can see. It's searching, okay, and it's asking to install, like we see on Linux not like we see on Windows. It is asking for the password. I'm not installing it now. Let's try to see some other things. Let's go back now. So we have compatibility with EXE and MSI files that are installers for programs in Windows. And this distro is prepared so you can install those files, those applications on this distro. So it would be easier for a Windows user to use and install applications from Windows on this distro. So that's cool. That's very interesting. I'm not trying it right now. And what can we see more? I have applications, home. Let's try some programs. No, before that, so we have a search box, so we can search things on the taskbar that uses, in this case, Google. Also, we have Cortana, something similar to Cortana, but is uh, an application from Linux, but tries to imitate that. And let's try some applications now. What applications? Is this to have? You have various categories. You have the terminal. In Windows, you have the command prompt. Also, you can write comments, but the comments you use on Windows would not work in here. You have to use Linux comments, like trying to search for updates, and because this is. Uh, Linux based, just the graphic design tries to imitate Windows. So, Windows commands will not work on the terminal here. But as you can see, you can update like you normally search for updates on Linux. Let's try some other applications. Let's, let's see what do we have here. So, we have various applications that we can find on Windows. Let's try the calculator. That is a this calculator is an application from from Linux. This calculator it's not equal to Windows. Do we have more? We have Notepad. Let's try Notepad. So Notepad is very similar 
in this case it's called mousepad in Windows is notepad but very similar works in the same way but we have also we have another document editor that is more for programmers because it has numbers on the lines so it's easier to for programmers let's close it also let's close this mousepad we can find let's see let's see okay we have graphics with the icon equal to ms paint in the in graphics we have like inkscape we don't have ms paint but let's try inkscape inkscape is an application that can run on windows on mac on linux the interface it's not depending on windows let's see what we have more we have skype we have steam we have team viewer you are on internet and communications programs we have games we have office applications like excel word you have another editor for documents you have let's try word we are using only office and in this case the word application that is very similar to word from microsoft office but this word application works with .x files so if you have documents from microsoft office word they will be compatible with this version in linux let's try excel very similar with rows, columns and all the options we can do in this type of ambient and application let's try another one let's try powerpoint maybe so powerpoint is also very similar on the sound and video category we have VLC we have OBS and other types of programs that you can install on Linux or Windows on the administration tab I'm trying to find something similar to Windows we have the registry that's completely different from Windows what we have more mm, nothing much very Linux based applications we have the terminal again oh that's all i think we have preferences also not much application similar to what we can find on windows let's try this screen this is, this is for configuring the screen the monitor the resolution is completely based on Cinnamon on Linux interface so it's not similar to Windows and here we have sound again similar to Cinnamon not to the Windows interface the applications on the menu are quite different from Windows but the rest of the interface is very similar as we can see it again on the file explorer let's try to do something on the file explorer let's go to documents let's try to create a new document and let's write something and save it and delete to see it going to trash and now empty trash like you would done on windows 10 let's try to create some more documents and the folder 
and let's do properties to see the menu of the properties are completely different from Windows. The information could be similar. You can find the size, the date, the location, but how it shows the information, the box of the options, it's completely different from Windows. And I think this is everything that I think is very interesting. The interface is very very similar to Windows 10, so for users that can switch from Windows 10 to a Linux-based operating system, this distro is very interesting for that, because the visual of the icons, the options, the menus, even the old paper and the logos are the same on Windows, so the learning curve will be very low, it would be easier for a Windows user to switch for Linux. And I think that's all. If you want to see more demonstrations of Linux distros, subscribe to this channel. If you like this distro and my demonstration, hit the like button and write in the comments your opinion about this distro, about the similarities with Windows FX and the real Windows 10, and what do you think Microsoft will do? Because they are recreating the same interface and using the Windows logos. So I think Microsoft will not be happy. So write in the comments your opinion about this, because I want to know your opinion. And I will see you on the next video.